Hola, bienvenido a mi canal. Suscríbete y dar like si os gusta el video. Hello, welcome to my channel. Subscribe and press like if you like it. Welcome to a practice listening for the GESE6. You are going to hear a talk about Esperanto. You will hear the talk twice. As you listen, write down some notes about what you hear if you want to. I will ask you six questions on some facts about Esperanto. Are you ready? Have you ever heard of Esperanto? It was created in 1887 by L. L. Samenhoff, a Polish ophthalmologist. Its intention was to be a universal international language. The idea is that somebody who learned this language, it would be easy for them to learn and be able to use direct knowledge a person of any nationality would have. There are up to two million people in the world that speak Esperanto. Out of that, there are 1,000 to 2,000 that are native speakers, since they have learned it from birth. The Universal Esperanto Association claims to have 5,500 members from 120 countries. It has been used the most in Europe, East Asia, and South America. Some people might not feel that Esperanto is worth learning, but others have said that there are many benefits, such as connecting with a global community, being able to acquire a language quickly, and becoming part of the growing culture of Esperanto. Have you ever heard of Esperanto? It was created in 1887 by L. L. Samenhoff, a Polish ophthalmologist. Its intention was to be a universal international language. The idea is that somebody who learned this language, it would be easy for them to learn and be able to use direct knowledge a person of any nationality would have. There are up to 2 million people in the world that speak Esperanto. Out of that, there are 1,000 to 2,000 that are native speakers, since they have learned it from birth. The Universal Esperanto Association claims to have 5,500 members from 120 countries. It has been used the most in Europe, East Asia, and South America. Some people might not feel that Esperanto is worth learning, but others have said that there are many benefits, such as connecting with a global community, being able to acquire a language quickly, and becoming part of the growing culture of Esperanto. Now I will ask you some questions. You only need to answer in a few words. Question 1. When was Esperanto created? Question 2. What was the intention of creating Esperanto? Question 3. What should it be for a learner? Question 4. How many people in the world speak Esperanto? Question 5. How many countries are there with people that speak Esperanto? Question 6. Say at least two benefits of learning Esperanto. Now let's look at the questions again but with the possible answers. Question 1. When was Esperanto created? 1887. Question 2. What was the intention of creating Esperanto? To be a universal international language. 
Question three, what should it be for a learner? Easy to learn, use direct knowledge. Question four, how many people in the world speak Esperanto? Up to two million people. Question five, how many countries are there with people that speak Esperanto? A hundred and twenty countries. Question six. Say at least two benefits of learning Esperanto. Connecting with a global community. Acquire a language quickly. Become part of a growing culture of Esperanto. This is the end of the listening task.